It's a new month. Happy new month. Abantabaze irumu kwezo kukumu tupatenjira mazaru wa marunji. Kani wene vio kujuka o mkwezo kwebisho mire. Ntukusimi rahuri hangabu wabiyo. Ebuka angire. Na vio ntushabari hangangu tuwa kuma tuwa vio juka. Tuwe hiri tumushabe at fairies of manzi. Boko verabamu. Inye tuwa babra nyamuiza. Program ready na ituwa shitamana nyamuiza. Tuli ya big chef restaurant o mtawu ni ambara. Kano mwanyogu nyonyo sile ningu gambela. Yukuru taka tunga gabu hiri. Ye hane huru wakatano mwena angu. Ujwenka shaha nke hivir zomu wazi ya horebe chukuba shiria. Tuwatu ene live band. Beno kugabura, beno kufungura, beno kufungura, beno kufungura. Echiche miro mwanyo. Bakaya ire, bakugabure, bakufungure. Ujurubu gwaji. Izo beri. Nataisa Jules. The radio chick. Juliana Natukunda or Cruz FM. Tuenda kurebye. Abo senu wa mshabani vengi. Mweni nyendangu yete mtaiwa wakubasa kwa ya arhari. Aijre aramshirzi hamwene itu wabu waka ili waka. Tanchevi ya Juliana. Jules. Yes, yes, nyamuiza. Ninye nachira. Na bandia unaevu za ntukunkano umanyangu okushita. Hapa nime remeba, no ishuki zina ya anje ya kunatukunda. Njira nto mshito gunka ya kushita mana wenka 2016 or even 15? I think it was 2016. Tubobu? Yes. Kurugobu pinka kure baga? Na nyentu hile. Na kuhu. But you're looking nice. You haven't changed. Thank you very much. Young. I'm, I'm happy you're the only one not saying I look fat. No, please. <laughs> That's body shaming. <laughs> I don't do that. I'm not going to say that I'm loud. 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 I am Uji, happy. Never, uh, you really are. Just, yeah, it's happy, all yeah. over you. Uh, yes, I've always been a happy soul, though. <laughs> happy. 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 <laughs> I know where you're heading. <laughs> yes. I really am happy you're happy, Julia. Yes. You mm. deserve the happiness. You do. I do. I do. Since 2016. I have been in 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 2016. I Mshongra kazi, agaka sese, an adult inkuzire. Do you want? Do you know what my you want my my age? Do you want? Pina chinta kuenda. You want to come back home? But ona, nze. I am an adult. Um, I am a hustler. Yom pakas inonda kasente, inkunda kunda sente. Chufuba. Ninzuro nda hansi ni igoroho na ninzuro nda. Nakur. Eh. Mweno kazarwa mshongra njio. Ni kazarwa kasese, klembe. Yes, we have to take a look at it, but we have to take a look at it. We have to take a look at it. Our ancestral home is Katunguru. Yes, I'm sure. And Queen Elizabeth. We have to take a look at it. Okay. Yes. What are you doing? I'm going to take a look at it. My parents are both deceased. May they sleep well. Yes. And my mom was called Jennifer. Yes, but they're both deceased. But we're good. What are you doing? I was the last born. I was the youngest. I was the last born. 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 What did you do? My father was the last born. My father was the last born. All of us are about 12. Wow, Jules. Yes. But my step siblings. My mom's kids are five. Okay. My mom was the last born. My mom was the last born. We should cut to the bottom, but right now to the bottom because I want to I want to back up. Yes. Kukamu akura hamu mumbuga ni. Kukura hamu and itwe kukura taxi manyangu ya step even. Kukamu tu mangu tu zaru mukazo mshijo. Busongora njoo kasi se kirembe mind zuko waheta. E nhuto azari. Mwenye shamiru nhuwa tanti. A kasi se primary. Actually nursery ekeri bakamba jita life touch. Ekeri. Kasi some town. Okay. Yes. Kwa kashi anyway, climb the mines. Kasi some town, some yes. town. Yes. Because mzee akai nedu kum town, so akai njia kuni kuna ben abandu wana akabaza isho mero is the only young one. So akai njia namzee um town. Adu. Adu kaden I would go to the nursery school. He nedu. Yes. Umwazi ugaruka na rumu. Aizantuar. 
from childhood. <laughs> I, I've, I've grown up guarded very well. And it's in the new way. Na yenyi na mana ganje ko mukazi tokunga tokumara ku. Eh, abaganda nguto munyigira muto. To so tsinyigira muto kenze. Takura bi amuri sha. Ah, sho no ngamba hota. So as a wajitaka maiba. Yes. Wa marecha mshanje. Yes. Mhm. Wa hendera. Na hendera ni jana za kas kas secondary school. For one term, for one, for one. Yes. Hati mwe mukege ni mezizi ni maegor kujo wa. Ah, ni mwe ni mezizi kumanya ni mwe ni mezizi ni mwe ni njumu no. Kasi se ni nka United States of Uganda. Of Uganda. Harumwe ni mwe harumoro kujo harumoro shongo harumoro shwairi harumoro Uganda harumoro all of Northerners and then claim be kire maba antubur gurumu no. Eh. When wabi ya gebi mbio? Taro horo muru nita kumanya. Wow. wow. I actually, no, mbasa kwa ni manya like, probably half of the languages of this country. Wow, Jules. Yes. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because, the kongkana kwa nguja, I have, I have interest in learning languages. Precisely my point. Yes. That's how it got easier for me. Yeah. Mweno rukonjo ba tando kiwe no. Katu, nchaiz tu wa tando kantu gambo rukonjo, jemu nong. Ntuhende la program yyo na. Umu rukonjo. Bas. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So, kasi secondary. Kasi secondary. Boarding hat kuonka. Nari hii no mkano. Boarding. Kwa kani uruguru kuri ya wano zaka klembe. So, hati, yushuka tukatu 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 klembe kota. It's this side of town. So, mzee ya antom boarding, ya antom boarding kuri uruguru. Hatu waza yu. But then, no, actually my dad had already passed on. I am so sorry. My dad passed on when I was about about eight years. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mzee akafanya ni miaka mnana. I was very young. Kutujem primary. Yes. Mwen hato wa abakutuira isho mwenu mkikuru. Na mkikuru wanji. Yes. Yaguman umduka we? Yaguman umduka. Things of course were not very well. Do you want to use this? Um, so. Baku ihayo. But hato wa za. Nyono wa sister wanje. Uwuru kurata. Eh. Tu wa zankahi. Okay now. Towards um, towards Gayo, my mother yeah moved. Hmm. Ma, you were attend the class in second grade. Second grade. No, because you were just one one year. Mhm. Then you were here towards the camper. One year, class six, then camper. Yes. Yeah, Jen. After she came out, I was at camper. Camper. My mom. Hmm. Aka ina ba wa ba ku camper. They can't trust their mom. Hmm. Um, kiko ruwa ushina wenu mshongo la kazi. Yes. When ba ka aka ya shuru hi no wa ba. Kungana, I never walk back to Gakuria Hand in another land. Nakur, they can't say that. In another land. So, Bakabar Kampa. Bakabar Kampa. So, because I'm moving, I'm to Ara Kampa. When you Mwaza Kampa. Into Mwaza Kampa, and she started living in Kampa. She opened up a restaurant in Kampa. Kungka, Magma, we know when you're talking about. Yes, yes. We're just going to be there. We're just going to be there. Christmas, to cut that. Nakur. When Mwaza Kampa, and she. Mwaza Kampa. Okay. Tuaza umwanya wakana wakweta lunguja. Ninzi mani. Wana utemburu kugamba rahu rukutemba tira. Aha, aha. Tuatu la lunguja. So lunguja ikeri hii na rubiri SS. Yes. 
Ha, that very well populated school. So that's where we went, my sister and I and my other brother. Mm. Mm. Yes. When was uh, Lunguja uh, Morganda? <laughs> but because of my pride in Kanta Kunda Gamba Ganda, Unka you're left with no option, Uko in Kurugamba. Of course, the, the community where you mm. are, the school, Avana Bona Kavyabagand. Mm. Yes. One Marine, a Shatejo Mukagayon, a minute of five plus the other wow. one. Yes. Wow, wow. Mm. So, I shall marry you to still Rukurgumka, now yes. brother, Wungo, or Yakaya, of course, Wakai Kayaza, as mm. Ganyona sister once. Oh, here have you Gamburg and Nazi Ishomirka Shango. One thing I remember for sure, Minshkangu, <clears throat> I was big headed. That's the truth. So I can't hold Ganda classes in form two. Nazang, na yandra. But I walk into Go and bring your mother. Bring him. Why are you refusing? I said no. First of all, I don't understand this language. I went to mu mu komo hold remu ruta kwen. That's one thing I remember about myself and that school. Konka. No, yonka yonka jang na jang that Uganda class. Words dropping. Immediately. S three na kon. Yes. Bas. So, was the senior Yakana? Wagarkayo? Yes. Was from much? Um, of course, I did hag. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. It was arts entirely. Mwahez. Mm. Mm. Mwahez. Konkobo mami in a restaurant? Eh, Kampa. Um town. Um town. Um chumro za yomu hera. Tuwena tukatukora. Mzomu um restaurant. Mzomu restaurant. Mweno kuteko rije na 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 kaitu yonto oriche rano wa tanichiri. Kuri ya eh? Eh, somehow it is inspired by that entirely. Entirely. So, I was in town. I to go to the house. I to go to the to go to the house. I was to go to the house. I was to go to the the house. I was going to go to the house. I was going to go that you can say, yes. Mm. Yes. 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 One five a day. I remember. How are we doing them? Oh, that's enough. We are going to have a lesson. We are coming at ten. We are going to start school. We are going to going to start school. We are 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 going to start by the way, because in Katanka Kora of Chirkari. But so Kobu in the Mujim and Tapuzanda. Senior six back Maya to Akora was a uni. Why, Actually, Senior six back Nisha, my mom's friend across the border. Misha and to Rwanda. My mom's relative, actually. Yan introducing the same guy who owned the radio in Rwanda. Which was that? Flash. Okay. Flash. Mm. So I worked my whole six, my seniors, the, the, I didn't complete the entire senior six in Uganda mm. vacation. Mm. Now I was in Rwanda. I was excited more than anything. Where was that radio? Flash was in Matumhima. Oh, it's okay. called Mima in okay. Kigali, yes. Uh, okay. So, Okano, you were in Kigali? I was my mom's relatives. Where I can't hide it. I carry Kanombe. We are in Kaya Airport. Oh, Airport. Yeah. So, okay, we are in Kaya. We are in the Gom Kanombe. We are in Kaya. I'm here, Mom. Because I did, I did the morning show at my very young age, before I even went into media. And which language, of course, in your one? Um, my my former boss. They were trying to. That those are the days they were trying to actually urbanize everything into yes, English. Yes, yes. Yes. And drop the whole thing. And yes. Come for more. Mm. I didn't know French. I did not know Without French. Without a doubt. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But I knew I knew English mm. and um, some bit of Kenya Rwanda. Mm. Then. Mm. Yeah, but I learned Kenya Rwanda because I would hear everything. The only challenge I had was the conversation, mm. like replies and what. Mm. But later I picked up so fast. Mm. Yeah. But mainly the show was in uh, English. And how long were you there? I was there for about a year. 
Oh, negotiating jobs are such a thing, na. Nukwa, nukwa nda chinga. I was just happy. <laughs> the little money I was getting. Beautiful statement. You were just happy. I was just happy. Oriya radio. I didn't even know. Oriya radio. I didn't even know. No gambor zunga radio. Eh, I didn't even know why I was working. That's the truth. You were to feel it. Oriya radio. Ni gambor zungu. In a transport. Well and good. Uh huh. Is this today? No problem. You Oriya radio. I was very okay. You Oriya radio. I was just living like a normal young girl, excited Stories teenager. And things people do not know about. Yeah. So was a Rwanda njo wa Mario Komaka. Yeah. Ni yokso manika ngani yoko verga. Kobo ya. My mom said garka. Wa himbazir. Wa kaba. Garka garka. So yeah, I came. And. Mwa humurka. Um, I went to. I went to Nkozi. Yeah. No, yeah, Nanka, Masaka Road. Kayab. When we Yes. What Kanda went to Mami and to Mascom. My mother can't work and go. Kambarachka, Nka. Wa woman was a When was a Masaka? Masaka. Mascom, yeah. Kano gender. Uh, because in Kana was the home radio, mm. so the interest was there. I already knew what I wanted. Mm. Yes, I already knew what I wanted. Wow. However, my mom didn't. What mm. did mama mm. So, yeah. she accepted. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But it had life. By the way, because <laughs> it had life. Because mm. it had life. I was just in my life. Yeah, because it. Two room hostel. Yes. Urukura era he he na na nisha miru unko unko hostel kazi he na campus ninga within inside. It was not far from campus. Hmm. Open sashi. It was a hostel. Otu ngo munto tura na we she. O mischaro mischu na bini tura na we. Hmm. Na we wom Uganda she. Aya kadi wom Uganda. I can stay with anyone as long as you understand me. That's okay. That's even. Mind better. your business, I mind my business, really. Mm. I don't have a problem. Mm. The internship was good. <coughs> internship, but me, I was already into the system. I was already into the system. I was already into the system. Hey! Yes. What are you talking about? say. Karabo yes, mm. <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> my Karabo best salama. friend, Salama, mm. home girl. Man, mm. I say, say now. Mm. Yeah. A girl, I know you are talented. I know you can do this. That's how I got internship, young guy. Wanur. Yes. We just want to run a Karabo. We are internship. Nah, it's an arguy. Actually, we are not even here. afraid of the room. Hey, those yes, days. yes. We shall talk about. Nisha, I don't remember so many years. Twenty what? Is that Nakora and Alex actually? Umkasis, Manj. Eh yes, cause Manj are Nakora hookers. Yes, Nakora. I knew Nakora for very very few months, like five months. Is that an agent? Wagatunshomu. Is that is that Alex from Manahes? Who are his agents? Just show me, Mami Isa, Mahesa. Yes. Happens here as a career manual. Yande ba ninga yande. Konka nyo feel denka na jirem so it was not new. And the thing in your way, what I know about life is, it was not about on radio. I could have done other things. Mosho, okuna areas and did I get the job immediately? No. Was a kolo ndisha rebo. Na gar kum restaurant. Yeah, ma'am. Was that a kum nafta no cheat? Ah ah, think a Ghana time is the standard. Aro. Gas kuchu kum nafta. The class was now different. Hatu zaba zinga hi. Eh, chave chi chi shot. Aro times two. Eh. Yeah, so. Kungota home car, utura na mami, urukurunde ra. Kwe iya, hoka ampara, numa ka ampara niyo. Iya na iya. Yeah. Kumba dia. Kumba dia. I got a lover. Rangi. Katu ara kukeish. Kana nzungu chikai hadat. But cause bisho lover kana be mwini ndi aishome. That is. Eh, like those days. Ogo wanjo unu kumanya. Oangaish. The campus is busy. How about you? How to Ungarava? Lava. How to Muinai? Um, um, Bonera is somewhere. Mbozi. Mbugana. 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 I think the whole day is in Kasese. Uh huh. Eh. Ah, what's your favorite? Atinimfutasi. 
but we dated I mean for a while mm. Mm. Um, he was a, from the east mm. Akundo mrengu ya kunda ni wakunda. Aka ina speed ya manu mnongo. Aka kunzuri. Mm. Aka kunzuri. Aja tumwene nabu ine, chunabu ine. This is the girl. Otunajenda. Otunajenda. Kuga ambira mkati? <laughs> my, my, hey, my mama was not happy of course. I was the youngest. Not happy because Tar happy ngwa kwa nkani nza kushwe ura. Nga kana kuri yo mwana. Uchurumuto. Uchurumuto. You still have a lot. Yes. Ah, kasi excitement ya love. Um, sha ya kunzi na njia na kunzi tini. Tini yao? Na njia. Even nevi ya wewe. Po abonom kundwa. Abonom kundwa. Iza officially ya iza wewe tu. Yes. Brought cows. But you know who? Who are jamu kashanga nda kasi? Yes. Mwenaka na kora kasi. Mwenaka na kora kasi. Okay. Iza wewe iza wewe tu ya retene. Kwa sababu ngora ba. Kashi tena shuma ya yu of course. Um, and to a agent. To an agent. that was a shirk. Juliana was 23. So little. <laughs> and 23. But as a girl, you age me Of course. Yes. yes. No, you're excited. You were kind. You have arrived. You're done with school. I know. No, you didn't change. So, Nigerian, that, that was so fast. Mm, I didn't. I got pregnant, got married. Yes. Actually, got married and got pregnant. All I was married. Mm. Yes. He, he's a, I, I don't think I really want to speak about where he works. He's a public servant. Mm. Okay. He works with the government. So, we have a transfer ginger. Two as a ginger. Two as a ginger. Two as a ginger. Yes, two as a ginger. Nikayo, we stayed there for um, for the shortest time. Ni Kanazar, yeah, Kanazar there at the child. My little one, my baby girl, <laughs> my baby girl. So, Mwana Yakura, about uh, about five months, nine months, actually, five months, nine months. Nisha na my uncle, my uncle was um. The RDC in Ginger then. He said, yeah, he said, do you want a job? I said, yeah, I think I should find a job in one of the radios here. So he connected me to Nabeta. Yes. Nabeta gave me a job. Wow. Because um, that Nalubal FM was already on. Not Nalubal. Nalubal is why. That's Nile. Nile. I call it, was, it Nalubal it, uh, because of that name. Uh, yeah, Nile because FM. it changed uh, along the way anyway. Mm. So, usually mm. I am not, but na, that one had a sister radio. NBS had a sister radio. Okay. Called Smart, which was urban. Okay. English speaking. Okay. Yes. So that's where they gave me the job. I was in Ginger Town, and it was where you were staying. Imagine. Wow. <laughs> Imagine. Wow. Yeah. Biya ire tabi. Biya ire tabi. Tio na mo. We na kere le kanje. But umwa no go. Kuya at some point, my my daughter started losing a lot of weight. So my 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 partner then, um, tuaye bozo umwa na kana losing a weight munonga. Mm. Losing weight, breathing in a funny way. Mm. Actually, at six months, no hot water. Watch not singed. Of course, at birth, catch roho, but the doctor, Dr. Kasiye, the guy, the, the pid at, mm. uh, at Kololo Hospital, mm. in Azari, said it happens to kids. Kunkai, they will out, he will out, she will outgrow that, that bad breathing. If it insists, then there's a problem. So, man, I have six months. The so to Hazumir War, the children's hospital. Mm. Okay. Mm. Children's Hospital. Yeah? Mm. So I don't know if he's discovering, I don't know if he's still alive. I hope he is. <laughs> the PID, he is discovering a woman. I need to run them. Yes. She, she had a defect, a heart defect. Imagine, imagine That's that. <laughs> imagine me, my first child. And your child has that. I think for me, at that that day, not at Nakasero, he said, I'm hearing a funny sound in her heartbeat. For us to rule this out, let's go to SAS clinic and do. A scan. Yes. Is it an echo sound or something like mm. that? 
So it was us, us. In the afternoon, I remember that day very well. I remember how even the sun was shining. I can assure you, it's just in my eyes. Mm. Yeah, so... Someone walks and says, you know what? So we go to SAS, uh, Bombo Road, but the, uh, go, the, the Dr. Luabi, who was the head of the heart institute in Mlago. Yeah, the uh, went. Yeah, the girl has a, a hole on the heart. Imagine, you know, now, they are looking at you, they are smiling, they are happy, and you're just looking at them and you're like, what am I supposed to do? Look at this innocent soul. Yeah. How do I, because for me, I think for both of us, me and my partner, he was an amazing person, he was there entirely. Our world just shut it down for a bit. that day. Bakam members to avoid a miss a miss a girl because had your party opened. Then endless questions you ask people. What happened? Why? What caused this? Why? I was going to ask that <laughs> question, but I was trying not to be insensitive. No, you it's okay. I, I tell the story. I, I love to tell the story because maybe the story will help someone else who is who when is as was? hopeless as I was. Mm? No doctor has an answer. No one whatsoever. No, even if you go everywhere in this world, you try to look up the answer. Because they ask you, they tell you it's just arhuya to gambi. It's just bad luck. It's one, one in, one in a hundred kids who will be born with a hole on the heart. What is the cause? They don't know. I was not drinking. I have never smoked my entire life. Your husband wasn't. My husband. He was, he drinks normal beer like any other person. But he I was okay. He was okay. And it was not genetic, it's a mutation and all that. No one in my family has ever had something like that. Neither in his family. So we had up to now, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot lie to you, Nyamwiza, that the question has ever stopped. Up to now, I ask myself, but I have no one else to ask. I'll ask my, my inner me. But why yeah? and how? But what, what exactly happened? You know what I mean? Yeah, but... When I was young, I was home, home busy. But the doctor, I was like, 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 It's either South Africa, India, or in the US. <laughs> and don't go beyond one year. Make sure it's surgery before this kid makes one year and a half because you're running out of time. And the kid we got to know when the kid was like six months, right? Losing weight was the indicator. Otherwise... And even the breathing was not normal. Like it, someone can't breathe very fast like that all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> to our own descent. To our own descent. India. India. So my friend, her father is a surgeon in the US. Mm. So they try to get us um, details of what the case was and the yeah, we sent him everything. Yeah. No, no, he was actually willing to do that for free. Bless him. Yes, bless him. God bless that man. Umhara Akamugambra. So he was willing to do for free. So he had to take care of the tickets and all we needed was a ticket and uh, the hospital was he was going to accommodate us. But uh, all we needed was our tickets and all that. But now, when we went to the American embassy. Mm we needed to apply for a medical visa six months in advance. So that was not helping us. We're running out of time. So we opted for India, which was easy to get. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't even want to cry. They just no, don't make me cry. cry. I, I don't want, I am, I will forever cry. But not now. Not now. Inside my heart, I will forever cry. I have that scar that never heals. Mm. You know how you're like, but that is it. But I am blessed. Amen. I am blessed. You truly are. I am super blessed. And I don't like crying over that. It was India. Mm. India was easy to get. So, in those in, in that period, the surgeries are ticketed, blah, blah, blah. 
tickets that one to us because even the baby I think paid about two hundred dollars. So Mazai. <clears throat> it was a India, Apollo Children's Hospital in, in Chennai, the other side near near Pakistan. The other side in the, yeah. So it was a uh, India. It was a uh, India. But doctors by the woman it was like a study case. <laughs> we stayed there for a month. People were supposed to be there for the shortest time. This one, Oguna Jangutsubasa, Oguna Jangutsukutubasa. They did an angio on him, on her. Yeah, so by realizing it's, it's impossible, we can't do the surgery. You're killing me. Yes. Because why we can't do the surgery, <laughs> she already has too much pressure in the lungs. That if we put her on oxygen to go through the heart surgery, she wouldn't sustain the oxygen to collapse the what? The lungs. the lungs. So it doesn't make sense. So go back home, live with her. For the, for the time that she will be here. No way. That's they, the story. That's how they broke the Yes, thing. but it was so genuine because we needed to know that. You Why are we not? Then, didn't you? Of course, that's another blow. Then you start asking again the endless questions and the doctors will definitely get tired. So you're asking, so how long is she supposed to live? Like they are the how how old is like they are good. I know <laughs> we human beings are so tricky. So we so I kept asking the guy, so how long do you think do they stay usually? Young number your case is one in how many? <laughs> and you think usually. Yeah, they are like of course they're trying to cancel you. Later mm -hmm. I kind of figured out they were trying to cancel. So uh this type of hole she has they stay for up to 16 years, up oh to 12. Dear. They were kind. They were so kind. My mm. God, I'm still in touch with that doctor. I can't believe it. He's an amazing human being. So he's trying. I later figured he was just trying to be nice to us. Mm. So he just didn't want you to bear the too much pain of, hello? Yes. Be sure that. But I also asked God on our way to the, uh, the airport. I said, God, I don't want to come back with a dead body. I really don't Na want. Yebari. I don't want to come with my daughter in the back. I don't want. Na and God listened to me very well very well yeah so so we get back with your healthy child with my very wow. nice because you see they take them under diet so he was, she had actually grown fat she was big she was she was looking nice <coughs> to Agarka, we came back meanwhile you more had to get home because of course we first hand. yes mm. i had to take care of my son, my daughter first to Agarka was leaving. I went back to work after some time. My bosses were nice. I went back to work. Mm. We were leaving. Hardly did we know. We were actually, for us, we were enjoying the time that she was there. It meant a lot. Because meant now, lot. every moment counts. Because she would spend on, she would depend on meds. She has to swallow tablets. At her age. At her age. It was so disturbing. It was really, 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 really disturbing. It was really disturbing. But she was a very jolly kid, an amazing, beautiful girl. You know? My members. My members. So, one evening, I come back from work, and my, my partner and I were coming back, and then uh, I realized the kid was rush, you know, running to say to hug me. Then he ran to hug me, but she, said, she started throwing up. Of course, you took out to cut to in intention all the time. To cut her going You know what it means, but no man, you all the time you have to be in the hospital. That's what I was going through. So, when I had a nakai of a week, you have a week, eh, it was a ginger town, no more war. But we knew there was one pid, it was late, it's because we were in Kasha and came. But Bajangu, just the shagama in shagamaji. Just give boost, mu boosting, mu hena, came when to boost the whatever appetite and all that. To agarkumka, but the kid was the situation wasn't getting any better. Where moxes? Washes are hangog on one man washes. And we said we needed to go to Kampala, to the PID in Kampala. Mm. It was a Kampala Children's Hospital in Nakasero. We were to traffic lights, ginger traffic lights, mm. ginger road. I saw my kid dying in my arms, like literally. 
was getting weaker and weaker and weaker so and um you mentally prepared that no i i you know how you live in denial yes i was i was hoping for the best while we were driving but um i noticed that she was actually getting weaker and her eyes were not opening anymore mm. yeah what? i am sorry it's okay <laughs> So my kayo she didn't I think she said like mommy don't send me away. So knabi ni mkant kum her doctor. Young Gabromunga. Like she opened her eyes once and she never breathed again. That was it. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Life was gone. And the questions had to restart again you know you forever ask yourself why me i am so sorry it's okay yeah so sorry yeah so that was it umiraro twaruga yimanya hati twaje nda twazatisa twazika twazika and i left my baby girl down there i have no, no idea <laughs> yeah? no, no. Mm. i think was on katwar gana on twara yo or kuza kwenda chi okay so twara gayo twara gumuru twagar kajinja twazamuru twazamuru mo on kabya tamani nzaka no um you know they always say if in in any relationship if the loss of a child doesn't bond you it breaks you i kind of later I, when i seeing counselors and all that they, they think that made sense for me so for me that was the end of the, the, the was the beginning of the end of the relationship it was tough so instead of us getting bonding together it was we are all mourning the different yes differently. yes what was his way and what was your way were very different and i think for him it was way different because me i kind of try women i think are different we're built differently you try to co- i i don't want to i am a very strong woman and i know Without how to and, and and i know how to put my trust in god and to let things be and move on Of course you're not moving on entirely. Eh hey, but you were there taking baby steps. But eh? you were there telling yourself you know what? Mm-hmm. I need to cop up. Mm-hmm. This is my life. This is my destiny. This is what has happened to me and I need to accept. Of course it comes with time. So I was trying to be in that situation. I only needed a partner who was going to be like me. Well unfortunately he wasn't like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Na we are in Siam Terok. Chapter ya. Hati ya ya bo morning going car in his pain even if you try to get to he retry i think that anger was resenting me at some point yeah and i think also because it took one year two years and so the pressure from the family side coming in come to kuzara come to when you get come cause got to jaland get you there struggling psychologically and everybody and people that's what people don't know our bodies react differently and honestly when someone is mourning you need to give them time to let them mourn so pressure your family yata and wawe wa kuri umushisha why is she not getting pregnant what? so my so entirely mazar she was my friend is a good woman god bless her soul like really mm. <clears throat> Ya tanka kuntwaro I think taroga ina karaje sundara rebero mkambarom to be sure ngo taro is you okay muchika yung card but she cause me I was like a, like just take me wherever you want <laughs> that that was it because in my heart of hearts I'd never used anything like family planning so i knew what is wrong with me you just needed to deal with what you and that's what the doctors would tell them every other time they tell how she's still traumatized just give her time 
and her body and mind is not. And they were impatient and yes. pushing for what so was So until they said, okay, for she later accepted, my mother-in-law. She's like, yeah, just give. She told me, she talked to me as a parent. Just give her time. So what my partner was, a I think, but I think he lost patience along the way. Of course. Yes. yes. He said, the for how long am I going to wait? So clearly he started playing his moves. <laughs> and getting and getting things done on the other side because now they were starting to blame him that probably Zan was was a problem <laughs> because for you clearly you don't have a problem so, so I problem think they him. did that to just do reverse psychology on him when you later think of things and the, the, the bad thing is he did not notice it where they were just doing reverse psychology on him, giving him pressure to go and have it mm. they even reached a level of telling him to have another wife so he's a younger brother and I was like what do you want really? Do you have to do this? We can't you just wait? We will get there. We will have the child. But of course, uh, things were getting not better. The relationship was getting bad, like not any better. Because you see, it doesn't make sense. You don't talk. Is that normal? That's like you are traumatized psychologically. In double measure. So I said gaining weight abnormally. Because for me, weight makes me, stress makes me really fat. I went under depression for a very long time. And I was on antidepressants. My, my body was just, I felt like I hated my body. It was toxic with medicines and all sorts of medicines. I cannot be, and, and, and for people who have taken antidepressants, you know what that means. You're literally eating and blacking out and eating and blacking out. Like you're like a zombie. What's that? You literally don't have life. And thanks to the pastor, my mom introduced me to a pastor in Ginger. His prayers would help me a lot. Those gatherings of me going to that church helped me a lot. It was the only hope there was. Like. It was the only solace of, like, I would just find happiness. Thank God my partner then kept dropping me at church. At like, least he did. He that. did, at least that he did. Bless him. Yeah. At least that he did. At least that he did. Yeah. One day. One day, <laughs> my partner came and broke the news to me. I think it was even Christmas. I hate Christmas, yet I loved Christmas from childhood. <laughs> I, Christmas was like my best time growing up. Up to now, I still have my good memories for Christmas when I was a kid. Yeah, okay, that Christmas new. He gave me the best Christmas gift ever by telling me he impregnated someone else. For me, that was another stone on my head, like... Thrice like, as much. Like, like... What has happened to our dreams? What has happened to our plans? What did you just do? What's wrong with you? Why can't you wait? Like, why did you have to do this? And his explanation was, I have so much pressure. I, I thought I was the problem. <laughs> For me, that was a silly excuse. Of course, of course you're not the problem. Who's the mother of the other first, who's the father of the other first child? You're not the problem. You know, yeah, but yeah, so that happened. So, but in the process, my boss, my current boss, your then boss, no, my current boss, right now, yes, okay, he comes to Ginger and he scouts me. He told me, I've told me about you, blah blah blah. I know you're good, like, 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 I need to give you a job in Imbarara. So I'm like, no, I, have a I was marriage. happy, I have a marriage. How am I leaving my marriage here? How can I leave my husband behind? <laughs> a relationship, actually, because <laughs> we're just traditionally married. Mm, you were married. So, but we're not like wedded, mm -hmm. so yeah. So I tell him, so I say, let me go and consult my partner mm -hmm. then. Songar Komuka, 
Mugambera, hey, there's this offer in Barra, they're giving me a job, and I feel like I need to take it up because it will take away the, the amount of stress I have. And he was like, straight up, where are you leaving your marriage? Where are you leaving me? How can you leave me and you want to work the other side? For the love and uh, the baby, the marriage material I was there in my head, I was like, yeah, how? Let me stay. Let me stay. <laughs> I said, let me the stay. Sweet I know, my gosh. So I, I, I call my current boss and I tell him, I'm sorry, I can't take it up. My, my partner says, no, I, it won't be possible. So he's like, okay, it's very sad that I've lost you that way. So we move on. But then, there are so many untold stories <laughs> that we can't even complete here. <laughs> There's so many. Mm. There's so much that we can't even talk about on the show. Yeah. So the relationship wasn't getting any better. So we start up, because uh, he says now I stop working. Because that radio you're working on in town, you're taking a lot of time, you need to stay in. in, in, in. <laughs> Housewife things. Huh? B. Housewife. Bananga was a housewife. <laughs> I was a farmer because we had even cars. So it was, it felt nice. I, I don't know if it felt nice because I'm that girl who have went my hands on. I love to work. I love to keep busy. That's how I am. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we pushed, pushed yeah, for some time. And then uh, um, I pushed him and we managed to open up a small grocery, like a supermarket in town. Ginger. He was into it, he was excited, we open up. So, so I have something, I drive in the morning to go to work, at least something that keeps me busy. You, you don't have a child anymore in the house. In the house where the child was moving and walking, you're literally seeing your kids' things every other corner of the house. The pictures are everywhere. There. But then you're going back to being a housewife. The trauma <sighs> is just double. So I needed something to keep me busy, and that's what he did not understand. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, but then... He was blinded to it. I don't know why. Mm. So, so I push him, and he, he opens up. We open up a small business in town. <sighs> but then that was before... That I'm telling you was before the story of breaking me, the news that mm -hmm. he impregnated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we were still going through yeah, back, and forth, mm. back and forth, back and forth. Then one, uh, then he wakes up one day and he and says, boom. "No, he says. By the way, I'm selling that business." I said, "But the business you gave it to me." He says, "No, I'm selling the business." I think he was just going through a lot in his head. I'm selling the business, and if you insist, you can find lawyers. I'm like, "What? Why? It's like you're under a spell or something. What is wrong with you?" Why do you wake up and all of a sudden story ne hinduk? Wow, ra. So you know, just no go na way nature. You know, I ignored him. He went, came back in the evening with the same story. And he sold the business. Well, it, I did not wait for it to be sold, and I'm embarrassed there. I simply did not go back. I stayed home. I stayed home. Then I needed Plan B. Hmm? He did plan B. I remember even those days I asked if I can go home a bit and he said no. Meanwhile, is your family aware of all this? No. Being a wife? My mom was diabetic so I did not want to tell my mom certain things. None of my siblings even knew. I'm someone who is so outgoing, I talk, I'm, I'm very loud, and, but I'm not someone who... Shares yourself with others in that way? I, I don't like to be a burden, to carry my, my baggage to other people. Mm -hmm. I'm just like that. However, I like taking in people's burden. Like, I like listening to people. I love mm -hmm. being a counselor and all that, yeah? <clears throat> mm -hmm. But I think my mom would know that I'm not happy. Yeah, she would get it. Yeah, because she would tell me, are you okay? Every time I would speak on phone. So... Wagumum go on the plan B? Plan B. I said, but who can I call? Apart from the guy who had offered me a job months ago. You called the guy? I called the guy. He's my current boss. 
And he's like, and he's like, but I just gave the job yesterday. <laughs> I know, but he says, but you know what you're going to do? Just come to Mbara, we're going to have a meeting in Mbara. I'm in Jinja. I come to Mbara. <laughs> I didn't even have a single coin. Remember, I was banking the business money mm, on a shared drinks. account. Yes. <laughs> so, Mr. could not even let me. So, anyway, how am I going to Mbara? You know? So I went to some lady in town, she, she's my friend in Ginger Town. I told her to get me money. I think when I went in the morning at my friend's house, because my partner was at work, I think he noticed I'm not there. And I think he also went to the lover, the new lover he had met. So basically for him he had solace, he was finding happiness somewhere else. You I was the problem. Yes. You were the problem. I was the problem. Literally to him. Yes. And I think he, it's, you know how it's bittersweet? I want to stay with her, but I also want to let her go. But I can't let her go because. <laughs> so, anyway. So I said, you know what? My friend gave me money. I had a car, a small car. <laughs> I drove to Mbara. I came. I told him I'm actually going to meet someone. I'm going to meet my boss. So I asked, he gave me some days off, I came. Now, my boss here says, can you start tomorrow? I'm like, no, I have to go back to arrange and come back. And, come back. and he was very okay and very patient with me. Yeah, so I went back. On my going back, it was actually towards Christmas. That is when I got the story. In full. In full. Boop. I have impregnated someone else. I am sorry that was a story. I'm sorry for disappointing you, but I have someone else pregnant. My question is, how old is the pregnancy? I think three months. I'm like, oh wow. So while I was going through all this trauma of you're giving me Whatever, whatever. whatever that, that you're making me move, move from hospital to hospital, you were busy sleeping around with someone else. Because you see, if she's three months pregnant, it means the relationship has been on for some time. Mm -hmm. Even if we just said three months anyway, that's also quite some time. So while I was toxifying my whole system, you were assaulted. So the anger was just too much for me. And it was so disappointing. That was a turning point. I looked at this guy and I said, I don't think I even know you. I, I, I actually don't think I know you. I think I've literally been living with a stranger. Men can change, turn around 360 like this in a, the shortest time. Someone who was your friend, like very close friend, someone who you had plans with. So I watched you. Yeah, sure. And what would you do if I were you? I need a mom. I said, wow, this is another one. You see how DJ Khaled says another one. <laughs> so that's another one for me. I was like, oh, Four wow. Four fifty in a row to listen to. I was like, why in the world would someone go through all this? At that point, you gain some sanity. And you're like, wait a minute. Am I, the, am I stupid? Mm -hmm. Like, how not? So that's why now I tell my mom. No, actually, <laughs> stupid I was. I didn't tell him. I told my aunt, my mom's sister. She lives in, 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 in France, but then she was around. So the daughter was getting married and they were picking me up from Ginger. In Bozwajum. I told my, my auntie and she said, Holy crap. You're worth better, way better than this. You're not worth this nonsense. Well, she told me as a mom because she was painting. And she's like, but why does he have to take you through this? She only told me just go back, compose yourself. And live. And see what, you, what your mind will tell you. But your way, I think for me that was so, so eye-opening for me, whatever she you told me. You needed to hear that yeah. from someone you trust. So after the function, I come back, Ginger. Well, I, I, come, I come to Barra now. I'm like, you know what? I'm only going to carry my suitcases of clothes. And there were only three suitcases of clothes. 
out of that whole house I'd built for years. I walked away and I came and I said I'm going to go to Mbara and work and focus on me. Drove, shoo, 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 shoo. left the car. You know the car, I had to come with it because I needed it. Yeah. And then the car was the problem, so the calls were endless. But meanwhile, while I go, he doesn't even know where I've gone. I just walked. He was not there, I just As packed my bags. Mm, the car was the problem. Oh, yeah, because, the, because I think that was what he wanted most. Sent it back. I came back, I came to Mbara and lived with my best friend, Sherry. <laughs> yes, until I got a place. I started living with consulate. Yes. Yes. Harsh. Yes. Yeah, so that's how I started my life here. And look who I am, where I am now. <laughs> it's exciting. Then Kabalaza. Kabalaza was I, I think I've told you about Kabalaza before yes. in one on one of the different for for, for, for the viewers <laughs> yes. benefit because really I know. So well, I, I mean, work, yeah, work. Um, no, by the way, so while I'm here working, my mom's falls sick. And I've started working one year. And Mr. is coming back to mend the relationship. Really? It was like a month actually, not even a year. Just a few months after, like a month after I'd left the home. But are you okay? He comes back to mend the relationship. That's the time my mom started falling sick. You see how the bad things are all falling in at the same time? Mm. <laughs> my mom started falling sick. She was in Kasese all the time, sick, 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 sick all the time. So I tried to bring her at the referral here. Yeah. Mm. So my mom was bedridden, so he got a chance of like, I'm coming to see my mother-in-law. So he comes and then he's, but my mom, I think, saw me. I think that's the last thing I had her talk about me. And him he said, if you're not, it doesn't look like you're happy. Mm. She told me, if you're not happy, just don't force it. Mm. I never told my mom all this I'm telling you. Because she was mother. sick. Mm. But she's a mother. She's a mother. And then she's a mother. A kavereva, mm. my mother, a kavereva, a doesn't look like you're happy. There are some things that are, don't look like you're good. Mm. Don't force it. I, I cried and I just walked away. I told her, okay. Mm. Yeah. So unfortunately, my mom passes on. And... Um, <laughs> he, he, he came with his other family members. Mm. So after Kuzika, my mother, I went, because we're trying to bond the relationship for it to work. Mm. So in my mind, I'm like, maybe let's give it another shot. Let's give it another shot. <laughs> you know how you want things to now, because the only solace now you have, you've lost a mother, you've lost a daughter, you... You can't lose everything. You can't lose everything. Try, try and work again. things out. For the sake of my daughter, I wanted probably to have another child with, the, with that person that I had the first will. child with. Mm. So, yeah, so after burying my mom in the whole situation, after like two weeks, I go to Ginger. My mind tells me, just go to Ginger. I have always wanted to donate everything of my daughter to an orphanage in Ginger that I used to know about. That I used to go, some lady that became my friend. Mm. So I used to go and help them sometimes. Mm. So I wanted to go and donate those things. So I stopped seeing them also. They have been there longer, yeah? Mm. So I go with my other cousin, we drive to Ginger. Reaching my house, because I had not told my partner that I was coming. Why did I tell him? Because it's my house. I even had keys to the house, right? So you know, I, I did not find any sense of telling him that in <laughs> I mean, it's, it's my house. Did I have to first announce? So, boom. A chick in my house with a baby. <laughs> so the chick looks at me and I open the door and the, both of them are freaking out. So my partner is standing and he's all in panic. He's like, oh, how come you didn't tell me? How come you didn't ask me to pick you up? And I'm like, no. Your cousin is there. My cousin stayed even in that car. <laughs> First, she was even more scared. Because <laughs> she thinks I'm wire. My wires will just go off and I'll just... But I thank God I was probably the most calm human being ever. I've ever been. <laughs> so I was... I don't know, God does things in a way that you never understand. I was very, very calm. I was okay. I entered the house. So the chick is panicking. She's kneeling down. 
Ayo na ngambira madamu nyowe. Everything of manya. Nyowe ndesero mwana wange. Mm. Pamuherezo mbazi mwana wanga rweri. Mm -hmm. Na mbuzo mwana wawo no hisi. Mm. Ngunu ugu. Mm -hmm. I said, eh, hey, okay. I told her, don't even move an inch. Stay here. I went to the, my daughter's room. I unpacked everything that belonged to my daughter and put them in the van. And Francis was just, I even said his name, my like, good, I don't want to say his name. <laughs> he was panicking. So yeah, <clears throat> and I told him, by the way, don't even open your mouth even a single bit. Because when you open, you're going to just open a can of worms. So keep mum. Just keep mum, because I'm done. In my heart, I'm actually done. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Nazayo, I told the, the, the helpers in the house, put things in the car. I took them to an orphanage and I left. And I remember calling my mother-in-law. And because I didn't have a mother then. Oh dear. So the only person that was close to being a mother to me was my mother-in-law, right? That's mm. that's the Because you guys were friends if you if I you remember. Know? Mm, friends. <laughs> so I called her and I'm like, Mommy. Imagine I have found this little crying. Like, and, uh, like, like, like you're not the last person knowing this. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Like, I am actually the last person to have known this. They knew about this. Precisely from day one. So, and the only response she gave me was like, my daughter, make sure you don't hurt that child. <laughs> so I was like, mommy, why am I hurting that child? Hmm. I'm actually already on my way going. I'm not even there. That is your home. Just go back to your home, sit down. She will also find her home. What is she? I said, wow. I just said, thank you, mommy. And I hung up. What I thought at that moment, I was like, if I had a mother. She would have told me better. This is not what my mother would have told me. You, you remember that she was a Hmm. Yes. So I went. We took the things to the orphanage. And I went and came back to Mbara and started working. There was a dead relationship. It was gone. Did he indeed keep quiet or he tried to call follow up? He has that? he tried several times. Even his parents tried to call me, his father tried to call me. You know? But I mean yeah. What was there to build? I'm a, I'm a yeah. It was gone. We shall attend. Officially. Afresh. Like everything was afresh. For me, yeah. And then you started dating. Again. I don't think I started dating person. <laughs> I, I, we I, have been in the deep end of sorrow. I'm just trying to make sure there's some light in this story now. I know, no, but I actually didn't date. Mm. I always thought it would still be the same thing. I had like that bad of like men are such a liars. Mm. Yeah, like I just so I said work, focusing on myself. Like let me work, 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 work. Mm. Only the, the only thought was like, where do I get the money? So I said chasing money, really. Mm. For me, it was looking for money at that moment. Then I remember starting up a shop. I asked some guy in my neighborhood, Ah, Uncle Konjera, mm. because I used to be a, a regular customer there in his shop. I'll, I'll check for He's a good guy, my God. He's a nat such a nice man. Mm. He said, I'll look for you around. If there's any shop, I'll let you know. Yeah, with a honk, like two months, he's just at Concadu and Hadia, I also run about the goods at Harad, the Concadu Musaron, at Concadu. I'm just maybe I saw room, think of my knock of my think a coragas are room. I'm not so gully. Naturally, I'm not a gully gully person. Think Cori Shochetti, I be there in my world. So, if you are so can talk of mine. And just at Concadu, catch to our at Majuza goodwill. She can't innocent in your open. Of course, I can't tell him that. Mm, mm. I am Kuzimbari. I am a radio yeah, presenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to oh, show that. Mm. <laughs> 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 I said, ah, but I don't want saloon things. I don't I don't want saloon things. I don't So, I don't want to say that. 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 Remember, on my, my entire being savings was one million shillings I had on my account. Well done. 
Well <laughs> so, done. <laughs> so you have to pay rent. I said, do come out to Atamuchi. To a hareva, twin tarma dara, tarmu stock, tarmuch. So Nija na home kazim to a nej. Yameza shot. Yameza shot. Because it's a tan and it's a nusha. I'm a darak, Kora Nanka, the cold word. Ukutera mama, I'm a dad. Scan can be that almost in three hundred thousand. Is the was on Jerry. At the million, yeah, holding in the Kubu Zem to Arab, no, Tanka Kumba and another Mati. It's okay. Mm -hmm. such a nice. But the, w let me tell you one thing, Yamuiza is I have always had favor. For me, I thank God for the favor yeah, that He has put on my, my, my whole growing up, mm -hmm. my whole living. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I keep saying I am a blessed girl. You truly are. I am blessed. So, Kavaraza Kata and Kakat, you don't have enough talk. Nuko Koshi. To Kavaraza, the story was Kakat and Kayaka Duke. The other day I opened Banyana Banjo. I mean, I mean, people would hang out with the, the men who drink. And most of them were bachelors. So, what kind of a tour at Chum do I remember my first credit of beer was a friend of mine who said, Cut to be. You can't in a fridge and go out with me. Bazo and Jibi have fridge or moon. A yanji, but that do. But that do. Eh, you and they played music from their car boots. Bas. And, and life happened. And that's how Kabalaza started. Because we were seated there outside. It was like a small veranda like mm. this. And someone said, Muliwa. Ah, Kabalaza. Muturia, Ujaka, Novano Rabaho, don't cut Stamia Kabalaza hair, Kabalaza Kaka do Kak. Eh? That's what I said on the phone, and they said, Jules, you're looking for a name. Here it is. Kabaraz. Yeah, I remember some, some lady told me, Kabaraz, and I'm like, you're right. That is it. So we said calling it Kabaraz like a joke. Yeah, what? And that's how Kabaraz at 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 Tana Africa, Tana go and ask in Kaza, the other side next, which was bigger. Tana take her. Mukteka quit good. Korea, talk was at Kuteka. I saw it said growing, business was now growing. Yeah. So along the way, business was growing, lockdown. Queen. Was that a point you also left radio? Because you. No, I left radio when I was very pregnant. Eh. It's so recent. I actually made a year back on radio this September. Yeah. So, yeah, so it happens. A Kabaraza Kata and Makabaraza Kakwata, a Kabaraza Kaka sounding and kitchen to Chaman Mononga, it was a small so, eh, room like it this. It was a Kabaraza brand, a Kaba brand. Yeah, a brand, a yeah, man. Mm. And I think being in the media, so Chikanya, but Mononga to keep talking about it. Uh, thanks thanks to my boss who would allow me to speak about my own place, mm. you know. So, Kakura and Konkash, Zakoma, Kunyabia, Nokteka. I need to find supplies. I need to find people to give food so they can pay monthly. I walked around offices, banks, what? Thanks to my clients. Do you want me to mention them? Go ahead. Anything for you to. <laughs> Thanks to my clients, my clients. Oh my God, I will never forget the first guy who gave me a gig um, to supply the bank. It was, I think he was a manager then at UBA, Joran. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then uh, I got, they moved to equity. He gave me, I got a deal in equity. I got a deal in Centenary. I got a deal in IMC, IMC, that now which is Sea Care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was, a, so I started selling food. Basically, I branded myself like a food and bar. Mm -hmm. So when lockdown came in, there were no bars. Bars were closed. Kayata Kayata Nika Kayata. Kaka Kora. So to cut you got a food just. Eh? Eh. Of course, supplies, Kazki in the Gumzam, whether, whether, Uktokora, Toktaska, but it's over. Concoin of Sapanga work was a contractor now. So Kagumzam. After some time to Argom lockdown, you're trying to settle, like, you're starting scra like level oh, one. Scratch. Yes. You know what I mean? Everything is almost gone. But you know, Tankakwe Jiroti, someone else comes and says, I don't want you out of my, I want you out of my building. That's <laughs> it. I'm going to go to the 
Bishop ataka and Zratio, I met a, I met an amazing human being. <laughs> yes, I met an amazing human being. God brought another person in my life. Yeah. The other relationship that was like well, years. When you know India and you trying to move your own years, even a gamble, it's like in a phrase of years. Um, for me, has moved on. He has been produced more kids with that chick. Like everything moved that on. That very chick. Yeah, that chick was a waitress. Yes. Wow. You get it. So he has moved on literally. He has children, and I did not have. I didn't want anything to do with him. So the amazing soul comes. The amazing soul comes. How you have your own doubts? Me, I have. I've always had my own doubts about men. Mm. You know. So and he met me in that time where I was like, nah. Not this. Not this. Mm. And this is another lie. You're yet. I, I, time will tell. Yeah. You'll be going. So we're just happy and living. That is it. In lockdown, do. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And maybe one morning, <laughs> I just wake up and I'm boom. I am pregnant. And I'm like, ah. Is that me? Real? I even told him, do you think I'm actually pregnant? And he says, yeah, you are. And he says, really? Because even that strip did not feel like it was doing me justice. I think I'm yeah. like this chick well, is lying. That's the that was Kagoro different place. Kaza at my friend's farm as Renga, Nagaraika, Manaza, all of Nagaraika and like, like <laughs> it, <laughs> in different days. You know how you say maybe they say in the morning is when you can get a pregnancy because that early morning urine mm. is the one that's freshest. Let me do another one in the morning. I went to all the farmers, I bought another and I kept it. The morning at five before I go to my radio show. I pee on it. Ta -ta -ta. I wake him up and I'm like, can you imagine it's actually still that one is just smiling. It's like, what is wrong? Why are you not believing? And I'm like, no. Because you know what? They had made you feel like you can't. No, what my, my ex-partner, this I'm saying it on camera. My ex-partner told me I am, I am barren. That's the statement he used. And I told him, and who was the mother of that child? And he says, that was it. That's all you had. You finished. And for me, it was in my head that I probably will never have another child. That is it. And I had accepted to deal with that. Far I was like, I'm going to take care of other people's kids. I have my sister's kids. I will love them to death like my own. And which I do entirely. They also know that. I love them like my own children. I, then at some point I said, when I ever get money, kabam giga, nizakorachi. Nizakwa adopting. I have one baby so I have three months. I have one and I have one and I have one and in a bond, man, Munong. Yes, that's what I had. I had plans of making money, make money, get some money, get the child, get a child. And here you are. And here I am. My ticked. God, Jesus Strip. Christ, is the Lord amazing? So very much. <laughs> that me, I'm a living testimony mm. entirely. Me, I'm a living when testimony. To, uh, uh, about heart. Yes. Lockdown. Uh, you're pregnant. That was the second lockdown, actually, not the first one. Uh, uh, when I was five months pregnant, mm. I, be, I, I, I got tired. Mm. You know, I, I was at a verge of losing my pregnancy because I was, um, I don't know, because it's that pregnancy that, ex you know, in the, in the hospital they call it a precious pregnancy. Mm. Yeah, even when they're noting you down, like, <laughs> because you know you've told your story and all that. So, yeah, so I said, you know what? I need this baby more than anything, anything in this in world. The world. And for me, this is a miracle baby. And this will stop, and I will first have the baby. And I said, I'm going to focus. And you told your boss, and you had this. And he told me, You can push. I said, No. I said, I need to just go and focus on myself, maybe grow my business. And then I'll come back if I have to. If I have to. Mm. Never know. So, yeah. I, I was actually, I left already, but people didn't know that I was actually pregnant. Mm. Me, my pregnancy, people got to know about it when I was like, mm. I was like probably eight months. Mm. I never showed, I never, I was just in my car, small car there, moving, doing my work and coming back home. Yeah, so, Nisha na Korachi. What's that? Na Najirenda, Nazara. I had an amazing bouncing baby boy, my miracle son. My my miracle son. Mm. <laughs> so, and God gave me a son, an amazing son. And, and I woke so up one day to a post and I was like, wow. 
I remember texting you if I remember and I'm like, wow, Joel. I know. Wow. It was, a, it was a big wow. And for me, that's like the, the, the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Ever. Yeah. yeah. Regardless sure of the, other things, mm, this is... The, it yes. is the word enough in its entirety. And I cannot even thank God enough. Mm. So me and my gynecologist, I'd go to my aunt and I'd ask him, are you sure the baby is okay? There has, he has no hole on that. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're because doing those stunts. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. And you're like... But no, the doctor knew this. You have to, I had to tell him my story because also I had fear of giving birth. That's the truth. I had a lot of fear. And, and thanks to my gynecologist, he would sit me down and he would talk some sense. So I had um, a guy I was seeing and he was my neighbor. Wow. You, you don't have many calls I make to him. Like, you know what has just happened? This, I'm like, that child and thank God the man was okay. Then, then like the one who delivered me, because I had to meet the one who was going to deliver me before because mm. I was delivering at Bayanja. Mm. So I needed to meet my guy and get to know him, have the proper mm. connection. But I think I saw Dr. Heva will never forget because I would sit him every day I would tell him something new. <laughs> <laughs> so, even while we we're in the theater, I would tell him, Are you sure? It's like I'm like, is the baby still breathing? <laughs> you know you all I was entirely traumatized. And the baby is entirely well. And, and the you man, yet to believe and, it. and the man told me you have an amazing baby and very fine baby. I'm like, how ca how can you be sure? Randa scan like we cannot, <laughs> but the baby is fine. We can tell. Oh God, yeah. So I delivered an amazing bouncing baby boy, very 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 handsome boy. And I don't was, it. At the chin, <laughs> What else do you want? <laughs> we are done. This is it. And for okay. me, this is it. Bless the amazing soul that came and. And things are yeah. When I talk with Angela Juliana, mm. um, of course you kept on with the business. Yeah, so mm. I managed to move. So you see, there's a new turf in town. I know about it. Yeah, Sam's place. Mm -hmm. So, so I happened. So my, so my, my land. I'm very heavy. I'm very heavy. I have stopped working, and my landlord, my landlady, tells me to leave the place because someone else had given her more money and bribed and all that. And so they asked me to vacate the place. I have no location whatsoever. And you like? I have to keep my supplies going on. So I managed to manage the way I would manage, the way Juliana manages. I kept the supplies going on. And I asked Sam, I had a, a, an empty place and I knew that was his plot. So I asked Sam, can you just, can I, can you give me your place? And I put my temporary structure and put up my place. And he's like, no, I want you to be patient. I'm constructing something. Wait, I'll give you a place. Works for you. You know that? You go give birth, by the time you're coming back, the place is set. Even before I came back, my bosses were calling. Because after giving birth three months, Cruise FM started calling me back. Please come back to work, please come back to work. And I'm like, oh, that sounds good. I said, no, I have to push. Because I had all those fears of leaving my child behind. You don't know what is going to happen. Mm. I don't want anything. As if you are good. As I if you are the one who's going to protect you. <laughs> But you know the fears of not wanting to leave your child behind. Mm. So I went, I waited until my, my son was five months, and that's why I went back to cruise. Mm. Boom. That was last year in September. Mm. Yeah, and then things were just happening. Then the pitch got done, then the restaurant opened, Kavaraza, boom again, you know, yeah. fresh and reloaded, mm -hmm. <laughs> big and better, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, we thank God. So it was a double blessing. As much as bad things happened, the good things also started coming. Two in. last questions. Yeah. One, when no sure, what you ask? Ah, I'm when. Let me tell you one thing. I don't know what people call marriage. What is marriage? Tim kumanya etaba nyankore de oriyom shongora kazi. Eh, no sure, what you ask? Not to as a lay nyankore woman. Me, I think okshwerwa is partnership with your person. As I grew up in a very nice home that had mommy and daddy, and I would want to have that mm. for my son. Mm. I would want to go to church, yes, get married, whatever way, form of wedding Marriage. they call it, yeah. yeah. But then I can't force things to happen. They happen the when right they happen. Time, they will happen. When the right time comes, I'll get married. If it doesn't come, we are alive. I am good. We have a son. To I have an amazing of. son. And we <laughs> so, are yeah, I'm a, I think what is very important in this world is finding happiness. Mm. And for you, happiness is here. And for me, my happiness is really here. My son is my happiness. And making money and, and taking care of myself. 
I'm a very, very courageous and determined human being. I don't give up. That's my story. I don't give up. I don't allow things, situations to sit me down. I break a bit. It's normal. Pick yourself up. I pick, I have, I have that habit. I pick myself up and I say, Twende, it's time to hit the road. It's just, Mwesha no zakura pakariyari. How, for how long are you going to cry? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While you're crying, the people are not even eating out there. Mm. You, you're super lucky even you have the little you have. Mm. And I think how my mom raised us. My mom raised us in a way of godly way. That's that. Mm. I would pray. I'm as crazy as I look. I am a very prayerful human being, and that's what counts. You sit down yes. and have your relationship with because there's that. There's only one person that you can have that conversation with. Yeah, Human beings are human beings. They change. People change. He's the only person who can answer your prayers. When the world is dark on you, my world got dark at some point. And only, I, and by the way, will there be light at the end of this tunnel? But why must the, the light be at the end of the tunnel? Why can it be now? But why me? You <laughs> know, you ask yourself. Yeah. Like, doesn't that tunnel But then think you lose hope, then you pick up yourself back, and then you're like... You get bits and pieces of everything. Yes, and then you tell yourself, you know what? No, girl, you, you, you do better. Mm. You can do this. Mm. It's like the inner me telling, yeah. yes, mm. you know. And, and this is who I am. I, I, I never give up. I am a very, very courageous person. I'm mm. a strong woman, I believe so. Mm. I, sometimes, I sometimes underrate myself that I'm not strong. We all do. <laughs> Hold on a minute. We all do. Yeah. There are bits and, and, and moments where you think, but wait. Hold on. And that self-doubt pops, but yeah. because it's a vicious cycle, you're quick to remember, nah, no. How no. And then I met a, a pastor, an amazing pastor that I'm, where I'm praying from right now. Mm. He taught me about fear and faith. Fear is so evil. Fear is it the devil. Attacks. Yes. Mm. And so if you know how to mm -hmm. come out of that, mm -hmm. you, 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 you're stronger. You're a conqueror. Mm. Mm. But there's only one person who can make you go through that who can get you through that is the man up there he knows better yeah thank you i'm excited it is very good thank you so very much you're welcome you see how this story took forever to come and took forever to come it took forever times when i thought i should have juliana and i'm like but will she I know. Most people think because of what I, the ones who know a bit of my story, because they I get know scared. You from because that you know. Yes. Was like, will she? Will she accept? <coughs> my life is like an open book. Like. <laughs> and randomly, I told Diane, "Wait, I no longer have Jules' number. Please share." I, in and a blink of it, just the other day. And like, I said, "Yeah, I'm it's okay. I can have this conversation." <laughs> what was the? <laughs> but, but it's good to see you. Thank you very much. When are you joining my club? What Motherhood. <laughs> Motherhood. Not Kundarga. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me tell my story. It's good. It's, it's actually a force I had struggling with because I wanted... If you, if you realize, the entire show is about the story I wanted you to share. I know. And, and you, you've so really glad. given me time to share it. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so glad it's out there. And I hope and pray that this yeah. will be something someone picks. And it helps them live life yeah. to the fullest. I hope so. Mm. I really hope so. It will. And I, I hope I will keep this for my son after some time. I need to show my son. When he grows old. <laughs> internet, this will stay forever. Yes. We'll have the, the, the link bookmarked somewhere yes. and we can always go to it.
Kashavana by internet, I will definitely get to this. Nara is a no young I know. We have to go. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. I'm going to go to the hotel. Juliana Natkunda. Jules, Juliana, radio chick. If you have a Sakura, I will go to the room. Can't be a green school, catch a chimney to be no good, no wind, grab you. To my young girl, great. Ne to women get a room. It is uncivilized. You have a premium with any way and answer is. Go subscribing. O Gambia no one digital word, it is over now subscribing. Jacabu Rakatano, Treta, Abajinin Cajuliano, Bajiba to Gambia, Bajiba to Jessa, to Jessiba, it's to Abbey. Pacora, big chef restaurant, um, Tony Ambar, can't such cover Amity Rose as Limited, Arosa Zamataka, Amarunzi, and Hendo Marunzi, Umbrenzi Resort. The Catsibra, Kamayat Sima, to Garakarakatan, Ugume.